it's like five in the morning, uh, snowing outside in Texas, which is really weird. Uh, and I've got like this allergy thing happening, but it's not stopping me because I've got a whole bunch of alcohol inks that I just got. And as a creative director slash designer, um, I love color swatches. That's what we use. Um, and it helps me figure out what colors work best with what. Um, so I'm going to actually make some color swatches of these new alcohol inks. And then once I'm done with those, I'm going to actually cut them out, scan them, and then put them on my website for anyone who would like to download them so that they can print them and use them as well. So that you won't have to make your own swatches and you know what colors are what you need, right? If you want to order something, you'll know what it, what it does when it's thinned down. Uh, so I'm actually going to do the color swatches first on the Ranger alcohol inks, these little guys. So uh, stay tuned. Yes. Okay. So what I've done here is I, I use basically the white uh, coated plastic poster board. And what I'm doing here is I basically put these alcohol inks like in order and write the names down on the poster. Because then once you put it down, you may actually forget uh, what color it was, and it may look completely different than the actual alcohol ink. So okay, so now we're going to start actually putting the ink down. I'm using... Uh, denatured alcohol so it's a hundred percent alcohol uh, that'll actually help uh, dry it faster and it does a little different things uh, that I like uh, versus 90 percent or 70 percent um, but you know there's fumes uh, denatured alcohol is pretty strong and very flammable so I would recommend uh, opening a window uh, running some ventilation uh, air purifier sometimes helps I, I typically run that or open a window but it's as I mentioned earlier it's cold outside so that's why I'm using an air purifier instead so the first color that we're going to do is on the smallest card uh, it's called eggplant so let's give it a shot so I've actually got my mask on so you may not be able to hear me clearly so uh, what I'm going to do is put a couple drops of alcohol here. It's actually taking the label off, that's fine. And I'll do two drops. One, two. And I'm using this little rocket uh, thing that I use for my lenses when I do photography. So I'll maybe put too much alcohol, but uh, I want to see what it does when it's light. I want to see what it does when it's heavy. Let's flatten it down. I'm actually going to put another drop down the low here. Maybe two. Because I want to see a lot of this color. I don't want to like just put a little bit down so I could. Uh, I want to be able to really compare swatches with each other. And I really want to see what it does when it's thinned down. And you can't really tell the. You can't trust the color when it's wet. Uh, that's not usually believable. It'll trick you. It'll look like it's dark blue when it's wet, and then when you, when it dries, you can see kind of right there. When it's wet, it looks blue. Uh, okay. And, uh, so we're going to just kind of like leave it there. Okay, so first one's done. 
Eggplant. I gotta rewrite it because it's uh, it, the alcohol. You just took it right off. The alcohol I took it right off. Hot bananas. Okay. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to tell what it looks like very light and as a gradient down to the dark. I can kind of tell what that looks like. There you go. So I'm going to leave this and let it run. Let it dry. So put that over there. Okay. Let's see what the next one is. The next one looks like it would be my favorite. Denim. Uh, let's see. I'm going to focus. There we go. Okay. So let's try denim. Where is Denim? There is Denim. So, Ranger Denim. Let's try it. Okay. Do two drops. See, it looks purple when it's wet. There's purple, hints of purple right there. Uh, you may not be able to see it on camera, but. Uh, add a little bit more ink, or alcohol, sorry. Right here. I want to be able to spread it out very thin. I'll put another drop of denim. Here, two drops. So I could spread this out. So you can see over here it looks purple as it's thinning down, as it's wet. And I'm trying to figure out why that is. <laughs> if anyone does know why that happens, uh, send me a comment and let me know. Uh, I think it's just pigment related, but I'm not sure. Let's see what it does here when it's super, super thin. It looks purple. I mean, and that's maybe because it's wet, you know? Uh, I don't know yet. That's what's tricky about it. Okay. My denim just turned into wet purple. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more right here and spread it that way. I want to see what it does. Does it start looking like it's gray as it thins down, or is it still look like? Does it still look like it's blue? Because I kind of, I really just want a gradient of it. Okay, we'll leave that. Let that dry. That's denim. And I'll, I'll do individual photos of each, and I'll, you know, like I said, I'll put it online so you can kind of see. And I'm actually going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one drop of it in its natural uh, feel as well, so I can kind of see what that does when it's dry. There's 
doesn't matter. Oh, this looks interesting. It looks like a metal. Uh, okay. Okay, so over here I had a little bit of ink, so I'm going to have to cut that uh, once I'm done because I don't want that to. It's convoluting with the rest of the color. And that's the last thing I want for these swatches. Let me see what this looks like. See, it looks almost blue when it's wet. And that's not the area that touched the ink. So that's really weird. This doesn't coat as well. This color isn't super high in pigment, it seems. It just likes to thin down. Uh, and it could be because of the alcohol ink, the alcohol itself, they need denatured, but this gives me a really good understanding of what I'm messing with here. Thin it down a little bit more over here, and you can tell Look at that, it's blue when it's wet. It's like a blue green. That's so cool. And that's not the area that's touching. That's not the area that's touching the alcohol, the line that I drew with the pen. This is just the area that's in the middle. Look, it looks blue-green. Or teal, as a, a professional colorist call it, I guess. Okay. So, I'm going to let that run. Again, this gives me a good idea of what, if I decide to use this color, what it would look like. why there's swatches. So there's denim. I'm sorry, not denim. Uh, meadow. It's really pretty. We're going to let that dry. Okay, the next one is called Bottle. That's, I think it's another green. I thought it was a misprint because I was like, why is it called Bottle? It is a bottle. I'm going to put a couple more. I'm going to do like two or three drops. Only four. Wow, that looks so pretty. It looks like an emerald. Wow. Saturation on the bottom, because that's what I want. I'm going to be able to quickly compare. But this color looks beautiful when it's wet. And I'm not really sure if it's going to end up being beautiful when it's dry. I have an idea. Of it. It's, it's going to look like grass green, I think. Because I'm seeing some of the areas drying up. So, 
This is called bottle. Looks like a 7 up bottle, maybe. I don't know. Uh, color wise. I don't want these, these dots per se. I want to be able to spread it out so I could really, these drops on it, so I could really see when it, when it goes over the top of itself, what it does. Cause I have to keep moving it. That really gives me an idea of what it could look like when it's dry. So, that is called a bottle. Okay, let's put that aside. We got a lot to do. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a bottle. Okay, let's do. Oh, this is gonna be my favorite. It's called pitch black. Well, so with black, you know, black is just a mix of all colors at a hundred percent. With an alcohol ink, I don't know if that's true because it does some weird stuff. Pitch black does. We'll see. It'll look purple and blue and all these other colors. So let's check it out. So we're going to put several drops here. My kids are coming in. Hey guys, go out, go out. Bubba's coming. Yeah, there's my kids. My lovely boys. Oh, you see like this weird blues and reds. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. This may be my favorite color now. I'm going to spread this out really good because I want to be able to tell what colors are going to emanate through this. I've noticed some swatch samples of this looks purple and some swatch samples looks blue. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't know if it's just... I'm not using a blow dryer because... Or any kind of air, like, machine. I guess blow dryer, heat gun. Only because... Uh, I want to be able to control... It's a small area and I want to be able to control it a little better. I don't want like crazy blowing off the paper and stuff like that. So I either use my breath and blow on it like some people have or I use this. And I'd rather be safe and sorry because this fumes, the fumes of denatured alcohol are pretty strong. So that's why I'd rather use, uh, I'm using a mask, my 3M mask that I typically use for, uh, um, for resin. And I'm using this rocket, Giotto rocket thing that they use to clean rent lenses. You can find it on Amazon. I'll probably put a little link in it on YouTube. So this is pitch black. This is really interesting. Um, it looks like rust. And it also looks like this blue. It looks very nebula galaxy. Uh, I'm actually going to add a little bit of alcohol, alcohol here just to break it up and see what it does. Really curious. Because I want to see what it does when you break it up as well because that helps you see how it reacts. There's a lot of pigment here. Obviously because it's flat, but... I don't even think I've scratched the surface with this color. Wow, there's so much going on. And this is because it's wet. I think once it dries, it'll, it'll give me something else. But now, and guys, 
ladies and guys. So this isn't mixed with any kind of ink. This is all on its own. And you could tell it's got like blues and burgundy and rusty like orange in it. Okay, I'm add a little bit more. It's got so much. I put too much, I guess. Right there. So I could move this around. far the most interesting color uh, that I've seen and the camera doesn't even pick it up but it's not completely dry but you can see there's like lines of blue there's oh wow okay so that's pitch black I'm gonna let that dry move it around a little bit more so you can variation here <laughs> I think I've got a lot of variation, but and this is this is a good thing or a bad thing. If you're experimenting and you want something really cool, yes. But if you're doing like some kind of commission for somebody and they don't want burgundy or anything in their house or rust or whatever this dark it looks like a dark red orange, then and but they want black, I would not use pitch black. I mean that's just uh, the nature of the color. So. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. Okay, so we just finished five colors. Uh, it took like 25 minutes to do five colors, but uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show them to you now, and so you can kind of see what they look like. Okay, so this is the first color. This is Eggplant by Ranger, and you can see there's accents of blue very slight blue accents but overall i mean it's it's uh it's purple you know um, that's the first and then over here we have denim which you know it's it's 90 percent, 99 percent dry um you can see it starts off like true blue and then as you um water it down or alcohol it down it starts looking there's there's hints of purple in it um and there you go that is denim by ranger okay the next one which is probably it, it is really beautiful uh it is called meadow it's got this uh beautiful dark green but then it has this weird I added a drop of alcohol here and then it started turning blue on me and I'm not sure that that's kind of I don't know why it would do that I hope it's not from this line right here but you notice this line that I drew with a pen it's over here and this color is over here and this is from the alcohol that I dropped so I'm not exactly sure where that's coming from I could see the undertones here there's some there's some blue undertones right there. So this has the undertones of yellow and it's got some in blue. Well, so blue and yellow do make green, I believe. Uh, yeah, so maybe that's why you see blue and yellow. <laughs> All right, so we're actually literally tearing the color apart with the alcohol when we spread it. So here is a bottle. This is beautiful. Um, it has uh, it has the undertones of yellow or like an olive drab. <clears throat> and then you've got, you know, when it when it thins down, it, it still looks it's still green. Um, this camera is it looks almost like a green emerald. Um, and that's, you know, here's here are the, the ones in comparison for now. That's the bottle. Beautiful color, by the way. I'll put that over there. 
And my absolute favorite of today is Pitch Black. Again, this is Pitch Black by Ranger. And as I mentioned earlier, Pitch Black is the mix of all colors that makes black, right? Um, this is the breakdown of that black color. And you can see there's like burgundy and blue and this like red-orange. Um, uh, the red-orange, I can't tell if you can see like right, right over there. There's some hints of it down here. You can see that over there. Uh, beautiful color. I think, you, I think this is... This leaves an option for uh, a lot of beautiful stuff that I can't wait to try. So, so bottle, pitch black, meadow, denim, and eggplant. And there they are. Okay, so that was five colors. And I can't wait to show you the rest. I've got probably another 10 or 12 to show. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. It really helps me when I know that there's guy, people out there that guys and girls or men and women who are interested in this kind of medium and who want to know more. So I'm really excited to share this with you. Thank you uh, and stay tuned for the rest of the colors.